I don't know what's gonna happen when I film this video either. I, I it's I you know again I I can't I can't help being a little bit amused. Um, I I was I've been thinking about this. I've thought of it. I've thought about this quite a lot actually over the past couple of years. You know, trying trying to trying to maintain you know my faith in humanity really to, to throughout all this. And now and now I feel like I've gotten pretty succinct about it. I think I, it's it's a joke. I mean, it's kind of a joke. You know, I I suppose maybe there is no. No, no misanthropic burnout, like the misanthropic burnout of someone who's like an activist or, you know, who's worked in human services or whatever it is. I mean, you, you, tr you try and you try. You try and you try. <laughs> you try and you try. Like, you're trying so hard to, like, you know, so serve a population that doesn't even, that doesn't, doesn't care, doesn't understand, doesn't, doesn't respect you, you know, thinks you're the enemy, is totally taken in by people who are, you know, you couldn't care less and are evil and manipulative and are only are only out for power and all that kind of thing. And it's like it's I can I, I get it. You know, I I understand. I think it's a, and then it's it's interesting too because if you really think about it, you know, the people who try to spend their lives in some kind of service to humanity and how and how very difficult it is really. How difficult it is to just sort of feel like it's continue to feel like it's worth it. You know, with the, all of the abuse that I go through. You know, I mean, the, the majority of the people who abuse me in person are exactly the kind of people who are going to be the most, the most in danger, the most harmed by all of the rights that I am constantly trying to protect and defend, right? And cer certainly, I'm not the first person to go through something like this, right? I mean, it's, like, it's kind of funny, you know? They're they're totally taken in by, you know, whatever, like by the propaganda of people who couldn't care less about them, you know? And it's not it's not it's not like I you know really really want to like spend a lot of time with them personally. I don't, you know. I mean, they have their lives. I have my life. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to have a life that will allow me to, you know, just have, you know, something that I like for, to do professionally and ha eventually have some kind, some kind of social life that doesn't, you know, have to do with being abused all of the time, um, that kind of thing. That would be nice. But, you know, but at the same time, I, I understand, I recognize that their rights are endangered by this and they don't, they don't recognize that at all. Right? They're just, they're just, they're just Im immediately, immediately part of the cycle of predation, and what they feel is that they have, they, they have an opportunity to abuse someone, and that's me, and they can do it over and over again, and that makes them feel better about themselves, right? And so you have you know, the people who, I suppose, to varying degrees, you know, who just get burnt out from trying to protect people, trying to defend people, trying to pretend, you know, like. Um, protect human rights and defend those and all that they just they just they just it's, it's not even just the evil of the people who are the people who are who kind of know what they're doing and are trying to ruin it it's also just the relentless ignorance and nastiness of the people who who's you know who are actually directly affected by this and have no I really have no idea what's going on right and then of course you get the people who never worried about any of those people in their entire lives we're always power hungry we're always liars we're always manipulative we're always we're only ever thought about like money or whatever it is right but they're always in such a good mood you know they're not <laughs> you're not you they're not the ones that you see you know with their like with their you know they're, they're, they're these like you know their, their hair standing on end and looking like they haven't slept for weeks and like these this you know ter terrified like you know or angry or just like bitter bitter expressions on their faces like bug-eyed un unable to believe what's going on you know screaming about how horrible it all is right the, they're the ones they're the ones who are you know getting a good night's sleep every night because they don't have a conscience anyway you know and have plenty of money to go to take off go on vacation do whatever they feel like doing and they're the ones that are really just you know at, at least superficially um, seem like seem like they have their act together and they know what's going on and are much more pleasant to be around, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and they I don't know what whatever you know whatever, you know they can if they choose you know make themselves look a lot better and and generally be impressive to people who are um, not really trying to find out what it's all about.